Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello viewers, my name is Stephen Kariungi and today we have a biology lesson and we are going to continue with where we reached the last time on the topic of classification 2. Last lesson we learned about the kingdom Monera. So today we are going to start on a new kingdom and this is kingdom Protoctista. So in kingdom Protoctista, we have two types of living organisms. First of all, we have protozoa and then we have algae. So we have protozoa and then we have algae. We'll give examples of a few protozoa, for instance, amoeba. Amoeba is a protozoa. We can also take an example of plasmodium, is also a protozoa. In the case of algae, uh, we shall uh, take examples such as euglena and Chlamydomonas. So those are the two examples that we shall take for each. So protozoa, we have things like amoeba. We know that uh, we have some diseases that are caused by amoeba, such as amoebic dysentery. Amoebic dysentery is a disease that is caused by amoeba. We have a disease such as malaria that is caused by plasmodium. So we shall look at uh, uh, the characteristics of each one of these uh, members that constitute the kingdom Protoctista. So let's go to the characteristics. Uh, the first characteristic of kingdom Protoctista uh, is that uh, some of the organisms that we have here are unicellular and microscopic. What do I mean by unicellular? We mean that they are single-celled. Unicellular means they are single-celled, such as amoeba. Amoeba is single-celled. Uh, plasmodium is also single-celled. But we also have other organisms that are multicellular. That means that they have multiple cells or they have many cells. So the first characteristic, we can say that some are unicellular and microscopic, while others are multicellular, multicellular. So we are saying that we have some that have, that are unicellular, that means they just have a single cell. Example, amoeba. Others, we have some that are multicellular, that have many cells. In fact, we can say multicellular thaloid. Thaloid means undifferentiated. Thaloid means undifferentiated. So they have many cells that are not differentiated. So that is the first characteristic. The second characteristic that we are going to look at as far as the kingdom Protoctista is concerned is number two is that they are eukaryotic. Eukaryotic. We'll see the meaning of the word eukaryotic. Eukaryotic means that they have a nuclear membrane. These ones have a nuclear membrane enclosing the nucleus. Enclosing the nucleus. That is what the word eukaryotic means. Now, the next characteristic that we are going to look at is that uh, 
they have many organelles. Unlike the kingdom Monera that we saw earlier, kingdom Protoctista, they have many organelles. Organelles such as mitochondria, they are there. Organelles such as chloroplasts are there. So in this case, we can say that they have many organelles or they have many cell structures. So I can give examples, e.g. mitochondria, chloroplasts, that is for some of them, ETC. So those are, there are many organelles uh, that are found in the, in the kingdom Protoctista. So before we go on with the characteristics, we are going to look at how does a general structure of a protozoa look like. And in this case, we shall take an example of an amoeba. So the amoeba looks like, for, like this. One, you can see that it's a single cell. It's a single cell, as we have mentioned here. It's unicellular. That means that if it's a single cell, you cannot see it with the naked eyes, so it's microscopic. You can only see it with the aid of a microscope. Um, the other characteristic, we've said that it has a nuclear membrane. So we have a nucleus there, and that nucleus is enclosed by a nuclear membrane. Then we are saying that there are other organelles that are found there. So you may have things like the mitochondria. You may have uh, others such as the contractile vacuole. You may have others such as the food vacuole. So we can, uh, we can uh, label this. This is the cell membrane. This is the contractile vacuole. The nucleus. And you are saying that the nucleus is membrane bound. That means that it is bound by a nuclear membrane. We will also look at the food vacuole. And we can also uh, look at uh, the cytoplasm inside there, that fluid. We'll also have the mitochondrion. Note the mitochondrion is singular. When there are many, they are called mitochondria. So like we have mentioned in point number three, they have many organelles such as mitochondria. Mitochondria is when there are many. But when it is one, it's called the mitochondrion. Uh, a, a point to note there. So that is it. So this is a, a structure of an amoeba. That's a general structure of an amoeba. Now, there is also uh, another point that you can see that uh, the cell membrane is not uniform. It's not uniform. It has some projections, and those projections, we refer to them as the pseudopodia. So one is called a pseudopodium. We shall look at that as we look at the other characteristics. So... Basically, that is what we have. We have learned. Uh, we have started by saying that we have kingdom protoctista. We have said that in that kingdom protoctista, we have two categories of organisms. We have protozoa and we have algae. Algae, they look like plants. They tend to look like plants, eh? but they are not plants. Um, in the protozoa, we've taken an example of amoeba which we have drawn here, uh, plasmodium, like the one that causes malaria. Then we have the algae, which we are saying they are plant-like, they resemble plants. We have euglena, we have chlamydomonas. We can still add to another one that is called spirogyra. 
Spirogyra. All those, they are algae. They tend to grow like plants, but we don't call them plants because their characteristics are slightly different from the characteristics of plants. Then we've gone to the uh, characteristics of Kingdom Protoctista. Uh, one, we have said that they are, some are unicellular, single-celled, while others are multicellular, many cells. They have many cells. And uh, when we say multicellular means uh, many cells, thaloid means undifferentiated. So we can add there and say multicellular thaloid means many undifferentiated, many undifferentiated cells. So that's what it means by multicellular uh, thaloid. We have also said that they are eukaryotic, a very, very important factor, a very unique factor there, that uh, they have a nuclear membrane enclosing the nucleus, as we can see from the diagram. A nuclear membrane enclosing the nucleus. So that's what it means by the word eukaryotic. In the previous kingdom, that is kingdom Monera, we had seen the word prokaryotic. Prokaryotic means without the nuclear membrane. So note the difference. There is eukaryotic having the nuclear membrane and there is prokaryotic without the nuclear uh, membrane. Then we have also said that they have many organelles such as mitochondria, chloroplasts and many more as can be seen from the diagram. Uh, but for the case of Kingdom Monera, we only saw a few, we only saw a few organelles. So it is important to understand how to compare between the Kingdom Protoctista and the Kingdom Monera so that you can be able to understand what are the differences that exist between the two. So we'll stop there uh, for today. Uh, we have gone through uh, a few characteristics of Kingdom Protoctista and I would wish to give you an assignment on what we have just learned uh, so that you can also go and read more as far as the Kingdom Protoctista is concerned. So the assignment for today Question number one, explain the term eukaryotic. So what does the term eukaryotic mean? Uh, question number two, uh, give one structure used for movement by amoeba. What does the amoeba use for movement? We have mentioned there. And lastly, uh, question number uh, three, uh, what is the role of the contractile vacuole. We have seen the contractile vacuole here. What is its function? So thank you very much and have a good day.